guys. Welcome to Atlanta. Thank you. Thank Heck you. yeah. Welcome back. Welcome back. Good to have you. Um, last time I saw you guys, you guys were playing with Zugma and the Variety. Have you guys been back since then? I don't think so. No. No. Okay. Well, how does uh, 2018 compare to last year? Where are we at? Well, we're working on a new record. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to do that record, record. Yeah. in the studio? Yes, almost okay. done with it. Very excited about that. I imagine that maybe the first time we play it will be here in town. And I'm really excited about that. Okay. Uh, yeah, we're almost done with it. And yeah, so we have lots of new things on the horizon for us. And this tour is kind of like we're exploring like uh, the whole catalog and like kind of jamming between new and old stuff and uh, I don't know, just exploring like what's possible with our old stuff so we have something to do before this new record comes out. Are you guys using any new equipment for the uh, new album? Something that, you know, different, different sounds or anything like that? Are you sticking? There's just been a lot of different sounds happening on yeah. the album. Yeah. Uh, just exploring different synthesis techniques and stuff like that. Heck yeah. Um, what is uh, influencing y'all for the new album? Any uh, specific themes that uh, you guys are sticking to? Mm. Kind of. I mean, I was influenced by the unbelievable stupidity I found on the internet okay. every once in a while. Oh, there's plenty of that. Just let it all out. Like Social media, uh, just about everything? Or you, what in particular are you... Uh, just like the sharing of misinformation. I don't know. It's like just silly. So I vented some frustrations. I guess. Okay. Uh, Nothing like political or anything. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> you want to stay away from that? Yeah. <laughs> we played the Oregon Eclipse Festival recently, and we played a show to people that didn't have cell phones out. Because cell phones weren't working there, and it was really weird because most of the time you have, you know, everybody's holding the cell phones up, and so, I don't know, uh, one of the main themes of the record is how engrossed we are with technology, and how uh, playing that show was just really, it was just like, wow, like, they're, everyone is, like, here right now, and it was really cool to cool. witness that, so, yeah. That's awesome. Uh, have you guys ever released anything uh, on y'all studio records or otherwise that you regret that you guys were like maybe this wasn't incomplete or maybe this that's uh, hilarious that was a hilarious I question know. Um, yeah. I, mean, I don't know about regret we just got better over the years yeah. and yeah. I think when you listen back to the first or second or third album you're like that sounded really hilarious on that drum fill or what yeah. was yeah, I yeah. thinking I right there yeah. but I don't regret it it's just a learning, yeah. a learning process of yeah, in the studio and as a band over the years. Um, well, you know, each each of you guys' live shows I've seen, you guys, you know, I have gone in a lot of different spectrums. Where it, whether it was, you know, nitty gritty a rock approach to you know an almost zen like electronic, you know, um, and it's a very pleasant balance of you guys' sound. Um, Thank you. Yeah, absolutely. So, what when you guys are playing playing impromptu? How can you find that groove of going from one moment to the next and being so cohesive? I don't, I don't ever think we really know if we're cohesive or not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of like when you're when you're standing on the ledge of like uncertainty on stage, you know, you just have to kind of go with what happens, you know, or and take your time really. That's the hardest thing, is, is you know not being afraid of silence. Um, but I don't know. I, I, I sometimes think we're not so cohesive. But, <laughs> yeah. You know. Then well, you how do you see, settle those differences it, when you guys aren't you know clicking? Well, it's just different every day. I think because we're so improv based that you know it's all kind of taking a chance, and we're not afraid of taking that chance. But I think how we can be at least for me more cohesive has to do with before the show more like the atmosphere before the show and what I'm not doing like warming up or you know talking to like a bunch of people sometimes you know before the show can you know really set the stage for at least how I'm going to play right yeah 
guy. Yeah. I mean, I think the energy in the room definitely sometimes affects how we play too. Like when, um, I mean, just and sometimes like I feel like we play really well when we're really exhausted. Also, it's <laughs> so just, funny how that happens. It's like you're so tired on Sunday and just you know all these new creative ideas start flowing. Yeah. Um, yeah I it's, think it's like the a filter is gone when yeah. that happens. I've always like tried to explain that to people, how like if you feel like garbage, at least for me too, like if I feel like garbage before a set, like I'm really tired, it normally goes better. I don't know. <laughs> really? I don't know why. <laughs> if I feel great before a set, I like am not happy with how I played. So Every time. Really weird. Just I get a little hungover and you'll just play fine. <laughs> I'm, on, I'm on it, dude. I'm on it. I'm on it. <laughs> I think, too, like, if the energy in the room is super high, I tend to like to to take chances to, to bring it down so that when it gets back up, you know, it's, like, that much bigger. You know, we're trying to find the balance in dynamics, not only in volume, but in like what we're playing. So like you think of dynamics in terms of volume usually, but you know, we have to think about it in terms of genre as well. Right. You know, like you can't just... Are you speaking in the live sense or, yeah, or live studio sense. or both? A live, live. Well, I guess both, but okay. like in a live sense when we're improving, you know, it's like, all right, we've been doing this for, you know, a double time thing for 32 measures or whatever, really high energy, like, all right, we should probably you know, think about doing something more chill so that when we get back to the halftime thing, it really, you know, makes, right. it, makes it nice. But it really helps when the energy in the room is, is high, so yeah. you feel comfortable doing that, or else everyone's going like, to just look at you like, what the fuck are you going to do? Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> Before 420 was cold days ago, what did you guys do for, um, did y'all play a set or anything for that day? Yeah, we were at Backwoods Festival. Backwoods? Arkansas, where okay. Walker used to be. Heck yeah. Sweet. How'd y'all celebrate? It's normal. <laughs> the normal way. It's the only way I know how. Calling the cops. <laughs> we knocked everybody out. Cause that's what we did. Oh, come on, man. <laughs> yeah, we just played a set because that's what we do. Yeah, that was fun. Heck yeah. Um, so, what, what's uh, life on the bus like when you guys are chowing down the road? Does the smelly? Who, who's the person who doesn't take showers in here? Well, we all don't. <laughs> I mean, none of us. <laughs> yeah, it's not that smelly, honestly. You need to get a shower when you can. Yeah. A lot of video games. Yeah. Yeah. Where are you guys playing? I just started Skyrim for the first time. Oh, okay. So. A little escape from music? Yeah. Yeah? Oh, absolutely. This boy is NBA 2K. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a computer Take man. It down. Competitor. <laughs> I like to play FIFA with him. I think you're up. One game. Yes. Okay. Three, two. What do you guys listen to when you're all traveling? Are you all listen to it? So random. Yeah? Um, do you guys have to fight for the uh, stereo? No, we all got headphones. You all got headphones? <laughs> I don't yeah. think we like sit down and listen to music. We never do. Yeah, yeah. Does anyone have anything weird that they listen to that the other guys are just like, dude, don't put that on? The only people, the only time we ever listen to music say, is somebody comes on I put the on the weird stuff in like, my headphones. I never like play yeah. music. Yeah, it's always headphones for me. Unless we're in like the van driving. Yeah, yeah. And then I listen to podcasts. When yeah. I'm in the van. I'm listening to to go to sleep. I've been listening to like Solar Fields recently because he has a new record and it's really good. Solar Fields. Yeah, it's like ambient, ambient stuff. Kind of really into ambient music right now. I don't know why. Okay. So. Are you drunk enough? I'll make everybody listen to John Williams. Talk about how awesome it is. <laughs> <laughs> The Hook soundtrack. Hook soundtrack. Yeah. <laughs> the Hook soundtrack. I guess we do listen to hilarious stuff if we're going to listen to it, which is entertaining. Yeah. Would you guys ever cover some of the, you know, like a, a John Williams during on stage or something? It's Could happened. you talk like a band into it? It's happened. It's times. happened a few times? He'll, he'll tease, like. I'll just start playing something and realize, oh, damn, I'm playing. <laughs> This is flight to Neverland. Or <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> yeah, that'd be awesome, though. Heck yeah! So, uh, any sneak sneak peeks for me for what's what's going on for four twenty today? Anything special? It's always special. Man. That's always special. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but, you know, two years not been in Atlanta. Show some love today. What's yeah. It's gonna be. We'll do our.
our best. <laughs> oh, dude. Be. Awesome. Yeah. Two hours. It's, it's awesome. We have two yeah. hours to play. It's really, really exactly. great. Yeah. It'll definitely be somewhere. interesting and dynamic mm-hmm. and rainy, but it'll be fun. And it's at the tail end of two weeks of touring, so we have, you know, at least somewhat of a system worked out. Like, every time we go on tour, we have a different collection of things to use, tools, you know what I mean? Yeah. And uh, kind of a different selection of, like, tricks that we have, <coughs> and so... I think it's always better to see a band play a festival at the tail end of a tour as opposed to the beginning of one because you have that much more to work with. Uh, so I think tonight... Why do you think that? Just because here. you get a chance to try stuff out. You get a chance yeah. to mess up. You know what I mean? Right. Uh, the, the, you know what club. gear's broken and what isn't. Yeah, you know, what to, <laughs> you know what button to press and what button not to. You know, uh, What notes to play. and uh, Sometimes. I mean. yeah. But yeah, I, I, feel, uh, I feel like at least for us, and maybe other bands like do a lot more rehearsal pre-tour. We tend to uh, we load into venues really early so that we have like uh, over an hour of uh, preparation time. Not only sound checking, make sure everything works, but any extra time we like work out what right. we're gonna do, and we've been working out what we're gonna do, you know, pretty much nightly. So we've had uh, kind of a little bit of rehearsal on the tour. So I feel like we're pretty fresh and ready to, to jam. Alright, well, uh, mm-hmm. what are you guys looking forward to in the upcoming months? Just finishing this record. Finishing yeah, I think record. that's the, the biggest yeah, yeah, yeah. one. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You know, playing the festivals. Yeah. Yeah, yeah playing festivals. Okay. Alright, guys. Well, I appreciate your time. Um, yeah. yeah. Thank you for this. <laughs> oh, yeah, absolutely. Gonna, gonna, you know, put out the right, right of the interview and it'll be a good time. Thanks, man. Yeah. Heck yeah. Be seeing you in Atlanta. Yeah, nice meeting you. Absolutely. I hope you guys have a fun time up there. Thank you. Welcome. Stay dry. Thank you. Oh, I'll try and stay dry. You'll probably see me up there taking pictures and doing some social media. Yeah. Hell yeah. Heck yeah. I'll let you know when the the new uh, tour dates will be announced. (laughs) Okay. (laughs) All right, take care. You too. Thank you so much for their time. I appreciate it. Uh huh.